Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, up at the top of uh, the apartments in a room of which I compose my music and uh, play the piano. This is a picture of the piano, as you see it. And uh, pretty soon I'm going to be talking to you directly to the camera about uh, analyzing a tune and what I uh, hear from it when I listen to a record. Okay, I don't know what this is going to be like, but uh, photogenically speaking, uh, because we don't have a lot of the equipment like tripods or the right microphones. Or, and it's a hot day and we're running the fan, so there's probably a little bit of noise from that. But uh, I'm going to talk about basically when I listen to a record, as I have done for a lot of years, I guess they're called CDs now. But back in the day, uh, we would buy records and then we'd try to figure out how they were put together. For example, uh, there was one record by a gentleman named Neil Sedaka, who had a song which didn't chart very well back in 1964 called The Dreamer. And I heard this tune on KRLA and uh, some different popular radio stations in Los Angeles at the time. And I really liked the record, I liked the tune, I liked the arrangement. The public didn't really find favor with it because it wasn't really one of those tunes that was uh, a real grabber. But it had some very nice chord changes, uh, especially in the middle. So now you're going to hear me play the piano a little bit. Okay, basically I believe the tune was in B flat. So there's a part in the middle where it goes but I don't care, cause in my dream, in my dream. Okay, from that point, it switches from B flat to what we call an F minor seventh chord. And then adding the uh, vocal note produces a, a ninth minor ninth effect. But I to B flat seven. Cause in my dream world, you are my dream girl. Now a very nice chord change to E flat minor seventh. Oh man, I love that. When I heard that in 1964, 14 years old, I was in seventh heaven. So my prayer goes out to each little sheep. D flat major seventh, and then back to our key by a half step, C minor seventh to uh, F seventh. Keeps me asleep, and back to our key. The dream. You know, you would hear stuff like this, and uh, of course, I didn't really know music back then. I didn't have the musical training, but my ear told me there was something special happening, harmonically speaking, and I guess from a very young age, uh, not only rhythmically, but especially harmonically, uh, those were some of the things that I latched onto. Now, some of my friends, for example, there was a fellow named Jim Ramis, who played uh, a Fender guitar and rock and roll, and he was more into the hard rock groups. And so his harmonic sense was nil. He did have a, an ability to uh, pick tunes that were driving and that were uh, uh, forceful, such as the Yardbird tunes or the Stones, and these were basically three chord songs or four chord songs, and uh, those in themselves are, are great for what they are, uh, and if you were going to perform them in a group, I suppose those would be better to perform, but for me, the harmonic sense, I would hear a record uh, by a composer who might have been classically trained, for example, Neil Sedaka. The gentleman I just mentioned who wrote the song was classically trained. He studied classical music on the piano and uh, he knew a lot about music. And so he would write these beautiful tunes with beautiful changes. And okay, we're going to play this back and see what it looks like. 
and then we'll do some more, okay? All right.